at least talk to Ken, man. Get it off your chest. Two more steps in. Sure. I don't have anything to get off my chest. It's squashed. It's done. She ain't. Come on, every time you pass her in the hall, it's, it's obvious you want to punch something. <laughs> Why am I going to take advice about women from you? You can't even hold on to a girl. Detox if he acts up again, call for backup. Yeah. Hey! You guys gonna talk to us or what? Yeah, uh, Brandon, you got this? Yeah. Sunshine. Hey, look alive, all right? I'm gonna walk you in there nice and quiet. Come on. Come on. Come on, we go. Wake up. Let's go. Come on. Hey! Hey, I need help out here! Somebody help me! I need his whole team out here now! Oh, good. Get there. Give him one milligram of methanol. Hey, come on, I need an ambu bag over here. Oxygen now! Let's get a stat ABG. Bag him. Tell Cardiac 3 we're on our way. I don't want to talk to anybody who saw them make the arrest. Anybody on the street, in the bar. You should stay out of this when you got enough heat on you. The mayor's on you, the attorney general. The last thing people need to think is that you're covering up for some of your cops. I don't care what they think. No, Jack. That's exactly the kind of attitude that's going to make it worse. That force investigation do their job. You stay out of it. If you don't, it could be worse for our men. I want you guys out of the crime scene now. Chief. Let's go. You're on administrative duty till we get to the bottom of this. public's thinking police brutality. We need to respond. Isn't that your job? Sir, this isn't just a PR problem. This is a legal problem. You know, under the last chief, the Justice Department filed a civil rights lawsuit against the MPD. Which they dropped when Chief Mannion came on. Yes, but now we pick up a guy in a bar fight who doesn't survive the ride to the hospital? It could look like a possible pattern of police abuse. All right, let me get this straight. Can, you, you want to put out a press release. You want to put some spin on it. You want to... Uh, Boil it all down to a few bullet points, is that it? Right. Wrong. 
Honesty, accountability, responsibility. I can't preach it if I don't practice it. Now, I'm not going to be hiding behind some stationery. I want you to get me out there, you know, like uh, Time, Newsweek, The Dailies, some of the morning talk shows. No, you do not do press. No, I don't do spin, Joe. Can I remind you what happened the last time your face was on the cover of a magazine? Yeah, I got fired. Turns out I was more popular than the mayor. People love me. You're very lovable. Thank you. We deal with these crazies, we put her on the line. Now we gotta sit here like guilty school kids forced to tell what happened. What do you mean by guilty? What? We said guilty school kids. Are you sure everything you did was on the level? I can't believe you asked me that. You didn't answer the question. No? Oh, you're right. Yeah, I pulled off on my way to Statesman and I cracked the guy in the skull just for kicks. Well, you did smack a guy once for eating corn chips. Okay, what happened in the bar? You know, the guy was out of control, right? Maybe you just bashed a chair over his head. Gentlemen, forced investigation is looking into this thing, eager to assign blame. You all acted properly. There's no need to be pointing fingers at one another. I'll expect your reports on my desk ASAP. Thank you. You're dead, you're dead, we're all dead! No, you, you, you can't go in there. No, 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 it's a poison. It's dead. They're trying to exterminate us. Okay? Sins of the father. Sins of the father! Sins of the father. 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 Sins any damage? Anybody hurt? Yeah, me. I'm bleeding cash over here because you guys can't keep these whack jobs off the streets. You know how many government spies there are? Hmm? 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 Five billion, five billion, five billion. And the outfit, those are where they're all buried. Sir, you're blocking the sidewalk. Who sent you? It was him, right? But I gave you orders to neutralize me? I'm a police officer. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to talk, okay? Can you hide me? <laughs> they they want to kill me. They want to get me. I'll never get out of here alive. You're okay. You're okay. <laughs> Okay. He's delusional. He's a danger to himself. He ran into traffic. I've done all I can do. I'm sorry. Hey, listen. We'll take him in. Do a mercy booking. Like disorderly conduct. At least that'll get him off the street. Yeah, for 24 hours. I'm asking you one more time. Doctor, please admit this boy. Officer, I have medicated him. That's my only option at the moment. He needs treatment, not a chemical band-aid. I simply don't have a bed. You simply got a good lawyer? Because if he gets hit by a car, he'll be a trauma case. Or worse. And you knew that could happen. That's called reckless endangerment. It's criminal. And charges could be filed against you. I suppose I could see if any discharges could be moved up. That'd be great. Thank you. What? You just channeled the chief. If you can tell us your name, maybe we can get in touch with your family. No. No. I'm a target of a conspiracy of the highest levels of the city government. Okay? The, the very highest levels. And if I give you my name, it's going to find me. It's going to find me and 
terminate me with extreme prejudice. Because he controls everything. He controls everything. He knows everything. He knows everything in me. He's bucked the light fixtures. And he watches this on TV. Who's he? At the council meetings are very, very private. Very confidential. You, you, you can't fight what you can't see. No, 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 no. King tried. Malcolm tried. And then we're all killed. All of them were killed. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Hey. Hey, hey, man, calm down. You're going to be okay. Biological warfare. Okay. So, no, no, we have to get out now. We have to get out now. The, 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 the germs are already here. The germs are already here. We've sanitized the building. We swept it for germs. The doctor's on his way here with the antidote. So let's just sit here and wait for him, okay? See? You're safe. Cafe Macchiato, please. Hi, Kavanaugh. Oh, this is special, isn't it? Is this where all the great legal minds of Washington do their conniving and finagling and meeting and greeting? <laughs> <laughs> We're not having coffee. We're not? No. Okay. And you're not hearing the idle gossip I'm about to say to myself. Hi. I was in the federal court building today when I overheard two of Logan's boys discussing 42 U.S.C., Section 3789. That's the part of the U.S. Code we, great legal minds, invoke when we want to sue municipalities. Mm hmm Like police departments. Did I say that? Uh -huh. I'm tight with one of the clerks who told me they're working on a big document production. Fifty boxes all going to the Justice Department, all relating to police misconduct in the last five years. Oh, my gosh. Boy, <laughs> hate to be the chief of that department. Jack, I know they're two lead guys on this stuff. They're pit bulls. Well, thanks for the tip, Gabby. Yeah, what tip? Drink up. I've only got five more minutes not to be here with you. They can only hold him for 72 hours, maybe not that long. If the hospital needs the bed, they'll discharge him. He'll end up right back out on the street. <sighs> maybe if I can locate his family, they can help him. Yeah, so you see hundreds of people like this every day. Why is this kid so special? A few weeks ago, Cutter and I found a body. She was mentally ill, homeless. Her family couldn't find her. She ended up dead, alone in an alley full of garbage. If you know someone might end up like that, shouldn't you yeah. do something? Yeah, yeah. Go do it. Just keep me in the loop, will you? Thanks, Chief. Yeah, I just need to verify the address. Right. You're them, aren't you? Excuse me? Do you know who you killed last night? Ma'am, I'm not sure I know. <laughs> no, you shut up! This is who you killed last night. Dixon drew this before he went out yesterday. It was for me. See? My name's Sharon's printed right there in the left-hand corner. Do you see it? He was an artist. You killed an artist, and what are you? Just two stinking nobody cops. Maybe we can talk about this. Don't touch me. I don't want to have to tell my kid that I got comfort, even for a second, from the people who murdered her daddy. to talk to you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Is that the FIT report you're reading? Yeah. It's funny how I'm responsible for this department's image, but no one trusts me enough to actually give me a damn copy. Well, it's good news. They found nothing showing Temple, Debrino, or Brander used excessive force. Now, 
It's just hope that the U.S. attorney sees it the same way. Why would they? Force investigations part of the MPD. So we give ourselves a clean bill of health? Come on, they'll tear us apart. Well, that's optimistic. Ella, there are rumors around town the chief's contract's not going to be renewed. The feds are this close to suing us for violating people's civil rights. That suit was dropped two years ago. When they finally realized that the problems happened under the last guy in charge here, not under the chief. Am I the only one that gets this? Chief Mannion has rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. This death in custody could be exactly what they're looking for to spark things up again. It wouldn't be the first time his enemies went after him. No, but it's going to be the first time his friends do. Vanessa Cavanaugh? She's going to sue the department on behalf of Dixon Stout's wife. She is the best litigator in the country on this stuff. And what's worse, she's a media shark. She sinks her teeth into this. This isn't just bad publicity. This is a public horror show. Unless we come down hard on our cops internally, in spite of the FIT report. Kendall, are you trying to influence my decision on the disciplinary board? No, of course not. I'm just saying, you slap their wrists, we're in for some rough times. Chief... All of us. I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. And then I'm going to do what I always do. Look at the facts and vote my conscience. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Mayor? Mr. Mayor. Mayor Douglas? My son is missing. He called his mother from Statesman Memorial Hospital after two of your cops tried to have him committed to a mental ward. When I went to pick him up, he wasn't there. Joshua is not in his apartment. No one has heard from him. He has disappeared. We didn't know he was your son. If we did, we would have called you. Damn it, I want some answers. I don't want excuses. Why did your cops pick him up to begin with? Joshua's never done anything wrong. He's never had any kind of problems with the law. They were trying to help him. He was raving on the street. He ran into traffic. They took him to a hospital for treatment. He doesn't need treatment. Look, kids go through stages. Now, he might be a little stressed, but he is not mentally ill. And I resent you making that assumption. He was a danger to himself as well as others. Your people overreacted. And if this is the way you run your department, I am not impressed. Okay. All right. Now look. We can point fingers or we can find your son. What do you want to do? Please have a seat. Two cars rolling the Statesman's Hospital. They're going to talk to the staff, patient security, anyone that might have seen your son. Another unit's going to go over to his university, interview his roommate, check out the campus, anywhere he might go there. Everyone else is going to be canvassing their PSAs. We've got uh, flyers with Joshua's picture on them and a telephone number to call. Normally, we would uh, send this out to local TV stations, but this time we're just going to keep it in the house. I appreciate that. We'd like to post some uniforms at your house in case he shows up. No, no, you'll just scare him off. Mr. Mayor, we briefed all of our men. All they want to do is bring Joshua in without him hurting himself or any of them. Thank you, Deputy Chief. Yes, sir. Last week or so, man, you really started acting weird. Weird how? Scared? Paranoid? Locking all the doors and windows? My girlfriend showed up. Josh freaked. He wouldn't even let her in. He ever threaten you? No, he just talked about stuff that was like out there, you know? The CIA, all these conspiracies. He had me proof his term paper for him for poli sci, said it was all about his life. I couldn't even read it. it there were words cut out of it. It didn't make any sense. Can we see it? Yeah, it's probably in his room. He doesn't like anybody going in there. 
Yeah, I guess it's uh, kind of an emergency, huh? whole thing's kind of a mess, isn't it? Yeah. I'm trying to do damage control. Damage control? Let me see, that's code in your world for somebody taking the fall, right? Temple. It's my job to protect the department. Job. Hmm. Is that what you tell yourself so you can sleep at night? Did you, um, come here to take your anger out on me? about us? No. Listen, Temple, someone's going to have to be the scapegoat here. It's the only way this is going to go away. I just don't want it to be you. And this is about us. Chief Mannion. Mm -hmm. I'm Rita Douglas, Mayor Douglas's wife. Please come in. This is uh, awkward. Do you have children, Chief Mannion? Mm hmm. I have a son and a daughter. My son's a lawyer. My daughter's a police officer. You love them very much, and you do anything for them. It's obvious. Right, well. They may have a different opinion, but... I love my son that way. So does my husband. It's just harder to see with him. Joshua is our oldest. He carried all of Morgan's expectations. He tried very hard to please his father. So when he uh, started having problems in high school, the outburst hearing things. He wouldn't let anybody help. Finally, I took him to a psychiatrist and she said it was borderline schizophrenia. She put him on a medication. It was, it was like a miracle. He was doing well enough to go to college and it convinced his father that there had never been a problem. So we all just pretended it didn't exist. And now it might be too late. <laughs> Mrs. Douglas, we're doing everything we can to find your son. I just don't think there's going to be enough time. Josh was off his medication. And I'm just so afraid of what my son might do. Does your husband know you're here? No. Huh. He's a very private man. You got a problem, Brandon? Yeah. You told the FIT guys I didn't use the right handcuffs? What are you talking about? When I brought that guy in, he said I didn't properly restrain him. Who told you that? People talk, detective. Well, somebody's talking smack. The FIT guy asked me if you used flexa cuffs. I thought about it. I remember that you didn't. I just gave him the facts. Oh, it's funny. He didn't just give him the facts. Guy didn't ask me, Brenda. No, no, no. Hold on here. Hold on here. The guy banged his head around in your car, which has us all now in the hot seat, and you're coming after me? Obviously, had I known the guy was going to die, I would have strapped him in. It was a split-second decision. Tell me you've never done the same. It's never landed my ass in a sling. Hey, he's up. Uh, it's going to get worse if we don't stick together. No, 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 okay? no. This guy did not use flexa cuffs. And because of that, now we're all screwed by politics. Public opinion wants to fry some cops. And with all this heat on the chief, they're going to come down on us. Yeah, well, who do you think they're going to come after? I was the one who was alone with the guy. I'm the one who's expendable. Thanks.
The coroner says Dixon Stout died of bleeding to the brain caused by blunt force trauma. We're here to determine if any breach of procedure contributed to that. Detective Debrino, when the fight started at Finster's Bar, did you and your partner identify yourselves as police officers? Yes, sir, a couple times. Did you present your badge, Detective? No, it's kind of difficult to present your badge to a bunch of fists. Mr. Stout weighed 149 pounds, yet the two of you fought him for 10 minutes. Why? The guy was on PCP. He thought he was Superman, and he fought like it, too. You hit him in the head? No, sir, but he was out of control. He could easily have hit his head when he was thrashing around. How about when you slammed him on the car trunk? <sighs> Whoa, I didn't slam him into the trunk. The detectives and I, we bent him over as slowly as we could, just like we're supposed to. Then why did CSU find his blood on the trunk? I don't know. I mean, the guy had some cuts. You are aware, are you not, Sergeant, that regulations require, and I quote, the use of vinyl flexicuffs as well as back seat body restraints when transporting a suspect under the influence of PCP? Here we go. Sergeant, you will address this panel, not yourself. Yes, I'm aware of it, sir. Because dusters have been known to break their metal handcuffs and their wrist if not properly secured. Not to mention bang their head on the safety cage. Did you take any precautions? Did you ask the detectives to assist you? Did you call for backup? Did you? The guy had just trashed a bar. He fought ten guys. He almost killed two. All right, excuse me if I didn't want to jump in the back seat, swap out his cuffs just so that he could be safe. What about my safety? Cops, safety. The guys who take all the risk in the first place. Did you take any precautions, yes or no? I'm warning you, I'm looking for a one-word answer. Anything else, I will write you up on the spot for insubordination. Yes or no? No. Thank you. You will be informed of our decision. Something new from you? Huh. Ella, how many homeless people did you see on the way to work this morning? I don't know. Three, four? And how many of those do you think were mentally ill? Two, three, maybe. That's 40 to 50 percent of the people on the streets in this country. Do you know how many of those mentally ill people are shot by cops? About a third. And do you know how many cops show post-traumatic stress because of it? 85 percent. Here, take a look. What is it? It shows you what it's like to be schizophrenic. No. Wonder what it's like to die? Maybe you should. Everything is poison. <laughs> Have a nice day. Don't come in here. They're after you. Don't come in here. They're after you. Maybe you should kill yourself. That's disturbing. Yeah. I got it from that Dr. Goldstein at the clinic you recommended. Mm. Right? They use it as a training device. So could we. You know, our street cops... All the new recruits, the academy, anybody who comes it in is contact scary. with scary how you get inside my head sometimes. Yeah. I got a feeling you're not done yet. Yeah. See, you're doing it again. Now, here's what I'm thinking. Why don't we start our own CITs? We'll get our guys, put them together with local mental health professionals to deal with the mentally ill. Memphis PD did this. They deployed CITs. They were able to cut deaths and injuries by 30%. Sounds good. How are you going to pay for it? Okay. <laughs> I knew you were going to ask that also. Yeah. I have this administrator who is a magician. No. No, she is able to pull very large rabbits out of rather small hats. I am not promising anything. And she never does. But she always, always delivers. Always. He had problems, yes, but he needed help. Not to be beaten. 
Here comes the best part. This is where you upstage your own client. Jack. The case we're bringing here, that's up to the U.S. attorney. We're suing for wrongful death due to the MPD's negligence. Had procedures been followed, Dixon Stout might be alive. Now that's going to be hard to prove, isn't it, Counselor? We won't have to. You guys admitted it. You sanctioned Sergeant Brander in your own disciplinary hearing for failing to use proper restraints while driving Stout to the hospital. Mm -hmm. So here's what I don't get. One minute we're not having coffee, you're helping me out. The next minute, we get this. Dixon Stout didn't have to die, I believe that. Yeah, I'm sure you do. But I think you also have a conflict, sir. I think that someone you care about, if I may be so bold, me, may get hurt by uh, your little shenanigans here and you're starting to feel guilty, right? You want to protect me, but you want to win your own case. You want to have your cake and eat it, too. Well, I'm sorry, Kavanaugh. It's one thing if you come after me. It's another when you go after three of my cops. If you knew me, you would know that's not going to happen. And you don't know me. I think Dixon Stout's death could have been prevented. I'm bringing this case, Jack, and I'm going to win it. Fine, fine. I'll fight you all the way. I'll fight you any way I can. I'm going to fight you till they, they deliver my pink slip and, and paint my name off my parking place. I have a copy of these two files, just these two. Okay? Yes, ma'am, Ms. Ms. Kavanaugh, uh, do you think we could take a walk? Okay. If the chief knew about this, he'd kill me. But, uh, Ms. Kavanaugh, I'd like you to consider dropping the Dixon Stout case. Based on what, Miss Farmer? Other than your and your boss's convenience. I think it would be in your best interest. Okay, and uh, what do I tell my client who's just lost her husband? Sorry, I have to play politics now? Uh, you get no remedy? I'm talking about the good of an entire city here. I think that's just as important as seeking justice for a man who died primarily because he took PCP. Miss Farmer, Mr. Stout was no angel, granted. But I believe the system is held accountable because people like me put pressure on it. If I drop this case because the chief is a friend of mine, there go all my principles. Principles like what? Like uh, lawful arrests? Good searches and seizures? Due process? Look, I want you to consider, objectively, what chief of police cares more about these things than Jack Mannion? If he's fired... Who knows what political will take his place? I'm sorry. That's not my problem. Yes, it is, Miss Cavanaugh. It is your problem because you may win this case. But if Jack Mannion's gone, you'll definitely have lost the war. We all will. Sorry. He sounded terrified. I barely understand a word he was saying. Did he say where he was? No, but I think he was at the door. There was noise and music and kids his age, I think. We, we, we only spoke for a few seconds, and then he said that the killers were there, and he had to go. This is a good thing, Miss Douglas. At least he was able to call. Please. Please find my son. I have a terrible feeling something horrible is going to happen. Relax, you'll be all right. It's Josh. He came at me with a knife. How'd you miss him? He didn't come in the front, Sarge. Where's the knife? He took it with him. I thought he might be here. I used to bring him here a lot. That's my uncle. Taught me how to play ball. Gave me my first glove. Shot down over Hanoi. Josh was named after him. It's a lot to live up to, isn't it? I was hard on him. Couldn't face up to the fact that my son was sick. Turned my back on him. It was an embarrassment to me. Not the kind of son a mayor, a senator should have. Political liability? No. My family. I let them down. Not Josh. Me.
come up with anything? Hey, uh, not a lot. But he told his roommate that his life is in this term paper, so there's got to be something here. Hey, Ray, listen, I really appreciate it, but you don't have to do this. I mean, why work the overtime when... When I'm on my way out? Now, listen, I'm a cop until I'm not. Okay? Okay. You trying to push me out the door? Nope. Good to see you. I'm glad you could make it by. Don't touch me. You stay away. You got the poison. I can see it. Strict nine in your pocket. <laughs> I know the drill. I don't have any poison, Josh. Hey, don't call your poison. See? I remembered. I remembered. I know it all, just like you. Now, we found these cutouts and these term papers in Josh's room. I think there's something here that's, that's worth taking a look at. The sins of the fathers. Mm -hmm. We found that on, on 20 other pages. The sins of the fathers are visited on the children, Euripides. And something else. Josh kept talking about him, how scary he was. When I asked him what he meant... He gave me this. George Washington, father of his country. So Josh has got a problem with his father. Yeah, but do you think the issues are big enough for Josh to go after him? Who knows what life which men call death. And death what men call life. Everybody's told me that. Joshua. Joshua, let me help you. Everybody wants to help me. It's a big lie. You're lying! His wife says he's at the office, but there's no answer. Security let Josh go up about 10 minutes ago. Now the elevator's locked off. Their guys are climbing the stairs to check it out. Swat will be on their way. They'll meet you there. All right, no lights, no sirens. Son. Why don't you let me take you home? Why? 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 So you could kill mom too? No. 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 Nobody's gonna hurt anyone. I told you not to come near me! Get a shot of Ben with your gun. You called them. You called them. You called them. You told them to kill me. Josh, this is Jack Mannion. I'd like to talk to you. Mannion, back off. I can handle this. I don't want him hurt. You can't come in here. All right. Don't come in. All right. Josh, I want you to give me the gun. Son, give me the gun. Josh, I know you don't want to hurt me. I know that. I told you, 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 come near me, stay back. Was he shooting to kill? Or is the mayor wounded? Is the mayor some mentally ill? What made him snap? Did Chief Mannion use excessive force? Absolutely not. Lives were in imminent danger. Chief Mannion had no other choice but to fire a non-lethal beanbag round at Joshua Douglas. 
He's been hospitalized with minor bruises to his chest, and as far as we know, the mayor was not hurt. What about the yep. civil rights lawsuit? Is this another questionable use of force? Is Chief Mannion's job on the line. Hey! Chief Mannion is okay if anybody gives a damn. Chief Mannion. Jack. Thank you. You're welcome. You had a death while in custody. I can't just let that go. Didn't expect you to. Are you here to file another frivolous lawsuit? I'm gonna start. Have you seen the Times? Yeah, you made me look like Butch and Sundance. Which one? Butch or Sundance? I'm curious who you identify with more. Not neither. They were a team, Cavi. Hey, you want a fish taco? I'm uh, not gonna drop the stout case, Jack. I thought about what you said I did. But this is who I am. It would be unethical for me to do that just to make life easier for you. Yeah. Uh, you want sour cream? Oh, Kavanaugh. Are you sad? No. Mm -mm. What, is that regret I see in those baby blues? This stuff will always get in the way, won't it, Jack? Our totally different worldviews. I say tomato, and you... You're not even in the vegetable kingdom. It'll... It'll always get in the way of... Of what? In the way of what? You were going to say something. What? Of what? Of... In of, the way... You know, forget it. Oh, you Kevin, listen, opposites attract. What are you talking... Anthony and Cleopatra, <laughs> Barnum and Bailey. Okay. Huh? Yeah. See ya. Abercrombie and Fitch. I mean, I could go on like this. Hannibal and Bucephalus. Kavanaugh. I burnt my cheese. Just two more steps in. Sure. I don't have anything to get off my chest. It's squashed. It's done. She ain't. Come on, every time you pass her in the hall, it's, it's obvious you want to punch something. <laughs> Why am I going to take advice about women from you? You can't even hold on to a girl. Oh, man, I know that guy. A total duster. I'm calling the cops. Detox if he acts up again, call for backup. Yeah. Hey, 
You guys gonna talk to us or what? Yeah, uh, Brandon, you got this? Yeah. Hey, sunshine. Hey, look alive, all right? I'm gonna walk you in there nice and quiet. Come on. Come on. Come on, we go. We go. Let's go. Come on. saw them make the arrest. Anybody on the street, in the bar? You should stay out of this when you got enough heat on you. The mayor's on you. The attorney general. The last thing people need to think is that you're covering up for some of your cops. I don't care what they think. No, Jack. That's exactly the kind of attitude that's going to make it worse. Let force investigation do their job. You stay out of it. If you don't, it could be worse for our men. I want you guys out of the crime scene now. Chief, let's go. You're on administrative duty till we get to the bottom of this. public's thinking police brutality. We need to respond. Isn't that your job? Sir, this isn't just a PR problem. This is a legal problem. You know, under the last chief, the Justice Department filed a civil rights lawsuit against the MPD. Which they dropped when Chief Mannion came on. Yes, but now we pick up a guy in a bar fight who doesn't survive the ride to the hospital? It could look like a possible pattern of police abuse. All right, let me get this straight. Can, you, you want to put out a press release. You want to put some spin on it. You want to... Uh boil it all down to a few bullet points, is that it? Right. Wrong. Honesty, accountability, responsibility. I can't preach it if I don't practice it. I'm not going to be hiding behind some stationery. I want you to get me out there, you know, like uh, Time, Newsweek, The Dailies, some of the morning talk shows. No, you do not do press. No, I don't do spin, Joe. Can I remind you what happened the last time your face was on the cover of a magazine? Yeah, I got fired. Turns out I was more popular than the mayor. People love me. You're very lovable. Thank you. We deal with these crazies. We put her on the line. Now we got to sit here like guilty school kids, forced to tell what happened. What do you mean by guilty? What? We said guilty school kids. Are you sure everything you did was on the level? I can't believe you asked me that. You didn't answer the question. No. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I pulled off on my way to Statesman and I cracked the guy in the skull just for kicks. Well, you did smack a guy once for eating corn chips. Okay, well, what happened in the bar? You know, the guy was out of control, right? Maybe you just bashed a chair over his head. Gentlemen, forced investigation is looking into this thing eager to assign blame. You all acted properly. There's no need to be pointing fingers at one another. I'll expect your reports on my desk ASAP. Thank you. You 
dead, you're dead, we're all dead! Ah. No, you, you, you can't go in there. No, 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 it's poison. It's dead. They're trying to exterminate us. Okay? Sins of the father. Sins of the father! Sins of the father. Sins of the father. Man harassing patrons. Six zero four two. Because they can do it. They can do it. Cyanide in your drink. Hmm? Throw glass in your food. Huh? You gotta think about it. You gotta think about it, people! <laughs> yeah. He's been out here all day. He basically shut down my store. Any damage? Anybody hurt? Yeah, me. I'm bleeding cash over here because you guys can't keep these whack jobs off the streets. You know how many government spies there are? Hmm? 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 Five billion, five billion, five billion. And the outfit, those are where they're all buried. Sir, you're blocking the sidewalk. Who sent you? It was him, right? But I gave you orders to neutralize me? I'm a police officer. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to talk, okay? Can you hide me? They, they want to kill me. They want to get me. He's a danger to himself. He ran into traffic. I've done all I can do. I'm sorry. Hey, listen. We'll take him in. Do a mercy booking. Like, like disorderly conduct. At least that'll get him off the street. Yeah, for 24 hours. I'm asking you one more time. Doctor, please admit this boy. Officer, I have medicated him. That's my only option at the moment. He needs treatment, not a chemical band-aid. I simply don't have a bed. You simply got a good lawyer? Because if he gets hit by a car, he'll be a trauma case. Or worse, and you knew that could happen. That's called reckless endangerment. It's criminal. And charges could be filed against you. I suppose I could see if any discharges could be moved up. That'd be great. Thank you. What? You just channeled the chief. If you can tell us your name, maybe we can get in touch with your family. No. No. I'm a target of a conspiracy of the highest levels of the city government. Okay? The, the very highest levels. And if I give you my name, they're going to find me. They're going to find me and terminate me with extreme prejudice. Because he controls everything. He controls everything. He knows everything. He knows everything in me. He's bucked the light fixtures. And he watches this on TV. Who's he? At the council meetings are very, very private. Very confidential. You, you, you can't fight what you can't see. No, 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 no. King tried. Malcolm tried. And then we're all killed. All of them were killed. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, 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 man. Calm down. You're going to be okay. Biological warfare. Okay. So, no, no, we have to get out now. We have to get out now. The, 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 the germs are already here. The germs are already here. We've sanitized the building. We swept it for germs. The doctor's on his way here with the antidote. So let's just sit here and wait for him, okay? See? 
You see. Hi, Kavanaugh. Oh, this is special, isn't it? Is this where all the great legal minds of Washington do their conniving and finagling and meeting and greeting? <laughs> We're not having coffee. We're not? No. Okay. And you're not hearing the idle gossip I'm about to say to myself. All right. I was in the federal court building today when I overheard two of Logan's boys discussing 42 U.S.C., Section 3789. That's the part of the U.S. Code we great legal minds invoke when we want to sue municipalities. Mm -hmm. Like police departments. Did I say that? Uh -huh. I'm tight with one of the clerks who told me they're working on a big document production. Fifty boxes all going to the Justice Department, all relating to police misconduct in the last five years. Oh, my gosh. Boy, <laughs> hate to be the chief of that department. Jack, I know there are two lead guys on this stuff. They're pit bulls. Well, thanks for the tip, Gabby. Yeah, what tip? Drink up. I've only got five more minutes not to be here with you. They can only hold him for 72 hours. Maybe not that long. If the hospital needs the bed, they'll discharge him. He'll end up right back out on the street. <sighs> Maybe if I can locate his family, they can help him. Yeah, so you see hundreds of people like this every